Vanny Salmon, who will be joining us this weekend on the Player Show as well. Vanny, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. It's always <laughs> great to be here back at Churchill Downs, and it's always great to be working with this crew for the Breeders' Cup. And it's great to have you here so we can pick your brain about some of these European contenders. And two of them, we should obviously start with talking about Enable and Roaring Lion. They hit the track today. You were standing right next to me, went back in the chute, and did very, very light training. Your overall, overall thoughts of seeing them hit the track today? Well, I think... You know, they wanted to stay away from all the madness, although Enable is quite experienced. Uh, they I wanted to take a good look at her and see how she had taken the trip. And um, she had, she was tremendous in the arc, and she's an outstanding mare, Philly. But she had a tough race, and she didn't have the, you know, the perfect season. She was, as John Gosden told me on the day of the arc, she grew really frustrated as, as a Philly, seeing the others being able to work out, and she had to stay and, and remain at, at a slow pace. So I wanted to see how she was doing today, and she was really well and composed. Of course, we need to keep an eye and see how they evolve over the days, because, you know, first time out, it's cold. Um, they've had a long trip, so you want to see how they evolve over the, uh, over the next couple of days but she looked good to me and then the other one that we always want to keep an eye on is Roaring Lion and he actually roared his way to the track didn't he? <laughs> he did. he's, he's, he's very different um, from Enable where she is extremely focused and she keeps her, her mind on the prize. He's very curious and he, he wants to see what's happening around him. He loves people mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah he's, a, he's an incredible horse. He's asked every task that you know he was um is he was asked and um he's got nothing to lose going into the classic now we saw those two we saw a bevy of other horses including lightning spear actually was just on the track too uh, fanny what else can we expect from this morning and what will you primarily be looking for well i'm i'm looking for the uh, only fam horses going to the um turf track because usually we don't see these horses on on the turf so they're going i think at 9 45 and i want to see um how they're taking to the softer course we know dallas manic of course the returning british cup turf champion is here but uh he's he's done his best performances on firm or good ground and you know we might be a bit on the soft side so it will be interesting to see um, how he does and maybe talk to the connections afterwards um, we will also see Pully Dream coming out and it's always I'm always a little bit biased towards that team that's Freddie Ed of course having won two Bruce Cup <laughs> mile as a jockey with Miesk and three with Goldie Kova and actually this will be the very last year for Regis Barbadette the head traveling lad who's come on all the trips with Goldie Kova and other Freddie Ed horses is retiring at the end of the year so um, so yeah we're going to keep an eye and she's actually going to be leading the uh, two year old uh, French contenders Lily Scandal who won the Prix Marcel Boussac and uh, the Black Album the two year old for the juvenile turf. We'll be looking forward to those. And I wanted to ask you one final question here, Fanny, because the Aiden O'Brien horses from Bally Doyle will be shipping in today. But over the course of the summer, they a lot of the Bally Doyle horses were affected by a respiratory illness and it it in turn affected the training. Do you think that we need to keep that in the back of the minds for these Bally Doyle horses leading into the Breeders' Cup? Well, I think that we're seeing horses coming back to their best and and maybe we should be lenient on how we're looking at their form over the summer. Uh, Magical, for example, I thought, you know, she didn't have the best trip in the arc, but she bounced back and, and won and uh, she was one I liked very much going into the arc. I think, you know, some of these horses will probably, if you're only looking at their past form, um, you might be surprised. Well, it seems like they went through a little bit of a lull and they might be kind of on that upward trajectory leading into the Breeders' Cup. And it's a very frustrating time. We've had several um, European yards affected by that. That was the ki the, the case for um, some French trainers last year. And, and, you know, when nothing goes right in, in the yard, it's very disparaging. But hopefully the end of the year, you can, <laughs> you can start stacking those victories back. Fanny, thank you so much. And we look forward to pulling you on this show a couple more times in the lead up to the Breeders' Cup. My pleasure. All right, back to you guys.